In this video, we will show how Gardonix handles drives with hidden data areas and password protection. One common way to hide data on SATA drives is setting up a Host Protected Area, or HPA. HPA is a feature supported by most SATA drives, and it essentially allows users to modify the drive's maximum capacity, changing how the drive identifies, and making it abort all read requests beyond the selected point. There are a number of free software utilities which can set an HPA, and some laptops come with it already set up. As an example, we have a drive with two partitions and one of them is hidden in HPA. When we connect this drive directly to the PC, it identifies with a smaller capacity and we can only access the first partition. When we connect it to Gardonix, the control panel immediately identifies and removes the HPA, giving access to the whole drive. While many free software utilities can remove HPA, they usually do that permanently and therefore change the condition of the drive, which is potentially problematic from a forensic standpoint. Gardonix only alters the HPA in drive RAM, making no permanent changes. After reconnecting the drive to the PC, we can see that the HPA is still there. Another less common way of hiding data is in the Device Configuration Overlay, or DCO. It's very similar to HPA in the sense that it hides all data beyond a certain point. However, DCO cannot be removed temporarily. So Gardonix displays a warning and offers to remove it permanently. Now on to passwords. Most SATA drives can be protected with an ATA password. In Windows, a password-protected drive identifies normally, but responds to all read requests with errors, which can be confusing. Gardonix immediately identifies that the drive has a password and asks for it to be typed in. Using the password, we can either unlock the drive temporarily or permanently, gaining access to the data. As soon as we unlock the drive, it starts to read successfully. Some drives have proprietary security systems, with one of the most common being Western Digital Smartware. Connecting a smartware locked drive to a PC causes the same kind of behavior, with all read requests immediately failing. Not many tools can work with smartware, which often forces forensic professionals to first permanently remove the password using the WD Smartware utility, and then image the drive as a second step. Gardonix once again allows for drive condition to be preserved, giving the option of temporarily unlocking the drive. Thank you for watching.